What's up, everyone? My name is Mitchell Saltzman, and welcome to another IGN Plays Live. I am joined by Brendan Graber. Oi, Gravewalker! <laughs> and if you couldn't tell, we're going to be playing some Middle Earth Shadow of War. Uh, Brendan, you're doing the the wikis, uh, the wiki for this game. Uh, how far in are you right now? Uh, well, I actually beat the game. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. I'm doing my, my second pass now for all the other fun stuff. Uh, there's a lot of uh, side missions available. It's a very... It's a very unfriendly game for guides because it's so random, but that's what I kind of love about it. Yeah. Just the uh, the nemesis system being like, you never know who you're going to fight next. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the uh, the game relies on that. Even the main missions do, which I kind of like. Uh, I think the first game, Shadow of Mordor, it was kind of like, the you had some very set missions where it's like, oh, fight a bunch of grunts and do a flip. Uh, <laughs> and then here's a boss fight with QTEs. And this time it's just like, Hey, we're gonna give you like a bunch of captains. They're from they're from the army, but you don't know who you're gonna get. Yeah, I think uh, the the first Shadow of Mordor was very much like a proof of concept yes. on the the Nemesis system, and this is really building on all those mechanics and really kind of perfecting the actual Nemesis system. Uh, before we get into that, uh, just really quick housekeeping note: we are live on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook. So many different places. There's so many chats open on my screen right now. I'm going, to be looking, I'm going to be looking at all of them. But if you have a question, a burning question that you need to get answered right away, you can tweet at us using the hashtag yeah. IGN plays I, I can answer most all of your questions. Uh, opinions, hot takes, you yeah. name it. Um, you know, I have I've actually played a, a, a lot of this game myself. So I, I, I would say I've probably put in about 20 hours at this point. I'm like level 30? Uh, I think I'm like two. I only have like two more uh, regions to to conquer. Oh, there's so there's the ways to go. There's still ways that. to go. Oh uh -huh. man. Uh, but yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit us up. So I need some skills because I didn't actually get there for the stream. Uh, I'd recommend if you're going for early skills. I'd actually just published a little fun article on IGN.com about the five essential skills you should get. What Early are on. those essential skills, Brandon? Uh, for yes. me, it's uh, Perfect Counter, so Critical Strike is also good. Perfect Counter is good because if you block at the right time, you can knock him down the ground, mm -hmm. which knocks him out of the fight for a couple seconds, or you can just do a ground execution. Uh, the next one would be getting past Poison Tendril to get Wraith Chain, because if you're doing stealth, like I love to do, you can teleport to tar targets when you're taking them out. Mm -hmm. um, Rover in the range section, both. Freeze pin is great for stopping people, and Bird of Prey gives you uh, slow-mo jumping uh, attacks, which is great. And Wraith uh, Tree, I am partial to both Elven Light and Ice Storm. It's your stun attack yeah. that freezes them. That's hugely beat important downs. to me. Yeah, uh, especially for just like stopping a captain for a while. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I don't have much room, but uh, Call Car or Call Mount is yeah. really great, especially with Caragors. So hopefully we'll get there. Um, uh, I, one of the things that I, re I really loved about this game, and I loved it in Shadow of Mordor too, is the the pin skill, skill the one where you can just yeah. shoot at their leg and just just nail them to the ground. Yeah, and it's so funny because so many people like to try to run away from you in this game. They do. <laughs> and you just slow down time, shoot them in the foot, and then slowly and menacingly walk <laughs> over to them while they're desperately. I'm very sadistic, uh, Brendan. You I don't kind know. Of are. It's, it's okay. <laughs> But they're they're just trying to to get their their leg off the ground, and you're just slowly walking towards them, and then you just bring them over to your side. So right now in the game, I'm at a point where the world's just opened up. You can go to every region at this point and yeah. take over any keep you want, or at least almost any keep. So I think today we're gonna go take on a uh, Kirathungul. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know who that dude is. I think I accidentally killed these guys, and I was here last time. Whoops. Let's see. Yep. There's his head. <laughs> he ain't coming back from that. So, All right. Uh, he might. We got some questions going on. Let's go here. Okay. Uh, we got some questions going on. Uh, Dual Plasu on YouTube wants to know how long does it take to have a powerful army in this game? Oof. Uh, I would at times think I had a powerful army, and I would be constantly uh, proven wrong mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the game because there are um, like as you level up, uh, you'll find that. Uh, certain orcs and regions kind of stay the same. Like, they are level usually 30 orcs in Gorgoroth. They're like level 25 to 30 in Saragost. And in Kareth Ungol, they're around like level 20. Um, and so, like, you kind of get good in one region and then you move on to the next. Oh, I'm in battle, so I can't fast travel. Yeah, that's right. Um, 
But then, like, as you get towards the last leg of the game, enemies start attacking you. They get much, much more difficult than they were in that region. Mm -hmm. So you get start doing, like, keep defenses against, like, level 40 orcs or even higher than that. And you just need to constantly keep rebuilding, redominating, and uh, making sure your captains survive for the next battle. Okay, they're all gone now. Cool, cool. But uh, I think you can first see your uh, pretty early in the game, like, you get a nice army to take over Nernan. It's the first strong one you can uh, kind of take over in the game. That comes pretty pretty early on, I think. Mm -hmm. Cool, we got another question from Adam Skywalker on YouTube. Have you or any of the other IGN crew have, have had an opportunity to... Uh, excuse me. Have had an opportunity to test the Nemesis Forge import from Shadow of Mordor? I actually forgot to do mine, but I was I using an editor's account uh, when I first got this game. Yeah. And the person, the Ed Media, or the editorial account, uh, whoever had it, had actually done it. And you actually meet your nemesis. Speaking of which. Nobody expects the Hoglick Inquisition. Yeah, he just ambushed me. Uh, but yeah, I actually ran into my nemesis early on. And it even says, like, nemesis. And he's like, oh, remember me from Udun? Well, I found you again. And I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> So I, I know they show up pretty early on if you do import them. Uh, whether or not they stick around after that depends on how you kill them or if they stay dead. Um, One of my favorite moments, uh, I, I had a, a, a captain that I cleaved in half. Literally cut his torso from the rest of his body. And I saw him about three hours later. His name was something the machine. I found that guy. I found a machine and too. And he was like surgically stitched together. He's talking about how his 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 friends uh, put him back together, made him stronger than before, and he was coming for revenge. And he was now like uh, six levels higher than me. <laughs> so that happened to me. I first beat a cleaved guy when I first started the game, and then when I was about to leave that region, he ambushed me a little higher level, and he was like, "You can't stop the machine. You created the machine." I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll kill him again. Near the end of the game, he ambushed me again. This time he's like level 35, and he's like, you can't stop the machine. I'm like, oh no, I can't. <laughs> Literally can't stop the machine. Okay, but we're actually going to dominate. Especially this guy, Mog the Infest. He's a legendary assassin, which means he gets two epic perks. Uh, epic throwing knives. And I also hate assassins because they have a no chance option where you don't get your last chance if you get down. So I'd be really careful with this dude. If he takes me out, I'm done for. Alright, I'm going to take a dive into the chat. I'm sorry I've been ignoring you, but I'm trying to... Sorry about Mog. There he is. Trying to get some stuff straightened out on our side. Uh, why does the color seem off? Uh, I don't know. I don't think the color seems off. I think it seems pretty good. We are, uh, in 4K, we are so playing might be, in 4K. Might be deeper shadows. Yeah. You again. So he looks infested because I dropped the Morgai fly nest on his head and then killed him. He, he took it well, as you can see. God, I love this whole... The fact that every, all these characters have... I just love how all these captains have like seemingly never-ending like a seemingly never ending wealth of dialogue yeah that, like, like there's so many things you can do to them that will change that or even like if stop dodging you jerk gotta mix up your tactics here stop it there you go everyone wants to fight me while i'm doing this sit down yeah Shoot. i don't think so Oh, he's running away. Alright, uh, Liam Andrews on YouTube wants to know, what are the first skills I should get? We just covered that, where were you? <laughs> oh, he's arrow-proof! Oh, uh, you can't pin well, him! Freeze pin is good when they're not arrow-proof. Uh -huh. uh, but as I just covered... I'll just wait from the top. <laughs> Yo. Scram. Bye-bye! Hey there! <laughs> Remember me? Um, but along with this, uh, I would definitely get a perfect counter. It's really great to have early on. Um, yeah. Bird of Prey lets you slow down time when you're uh, jumping to do uh, range attacks. Mm -hmm. Ice Storm for the stun. 
Um, if you want to see the rest, you can go to IGN.com where I just put up an article on the five essential skills to get early. And the honest truth, it's one of the things I love about this game so much. I think this game probably has one of the best, if not the best skill trees of That's any game I've ever claim. played. I, I swear to God. Every time I got a level up, I was excited to go into the skill tree and see what kind of thing I can get next because they're not just things that increase like the power of something. It, mm -hmm. it offers another tool for you to add to your, your tool set to circumvent maybe a, a, a strength that someone has or exploit a weakness that another captain has. Yeah, it's worth mentioning like you should get you should go for skills early on just to expand like what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, like you know things like uh, critical strike, ground finisher. But eventually, you're going to start wanting to get into these, like, I think they call them, like, child skills. Yeah. Which are basically upgrades to your main skill. But you can only have one of them at a time. But you can unlock more than one and swap between them. So, say you get a uh, mighty shot. Mm -hmm. And when you get your full might, you can use a, an explosive shot. You can upgrade that to deal fire damage everywhere. So, if you have someone who leaked fire, you can just explode them. Yeah. But let's say they're immune to fire. In that case, you get... Freeze Blast, yep. and you swap between them, you're like, okay, I'll switch to Freeze Blast, and then bam, you got a Frost Explosion. Or you can do a Poison Explosion. So, like, mm -hmm. having these options later in the game, when you start meeting people who are, like, just downright immune to things, or they get pissed off by them, Yep. Um, those are really great. There's also some other really good upgrades. There's one that lets you drain a lot faster, mm -hmm. which is, like... That's very important. It is I a think. very, like, late-game essential upgrade, yeah. because you're going to be dominating so many captains in the thick of battle. Mm -hmm. Uh... Today, I want to take over this keep, and I need an army for that, so I'm going to start building my army, but I wanted to do something fun. Ooh, fun. I like fun. I want someone to kill me. You're going to let someone kill you? I'll let someone kill me, and I'm going to be a captain. All right. And I'm going to dominate that captain so you work for me now. And then together, we're going to raid the keep, and I'm going to make him the overlord. All right. So, who, who do you think should kill me? Um, hmm. <laughs> you know, it would be really funny if you can let a worm kill you. <laughs> like that. I think they run away from you on, on, on principle. Look at, the, look at these weak boys. Ah, yeah, uh, he just runs away. All right, uh, never mind. Uh, we have another question uh, from Mikey J on YouTube. How big Yo. is the map compared to the old game? <laughs> Huge. It's pretty big. Uh, it's not. A, how many regions are there? It's, it's a like little deceptive. Oh, I can go out for a bit. So, like, maybe in the first game, like this was as big. Maybe like half of this was like. The Black Gate. Yeah. Maybe like half, maybe a little bit more if I'm being generous. Uh, that's This is just one region. There are, in fact, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. And they're all big, if not as bigger as the one I was just in. Um, unfortunately, you can't go to like, in the open plains, like I can't go to Barador. I can't go back to the Black Gate. Uh, I was really sad because I could see, like, this Tirith is here. I can't actually go there. Uh -huh. I, mean, I would love to go, like, Osculiath, but not. They're just, they just, like, kind of, like, lore points, but you can't actually go to them, unfortunately. Still, there's, all, there's a big playground. Uh, I kind of want to get an Olog, but I don't know if there's any in the area. <laughs> Ologs are cool, and they're new, and they're big. Yeah, they're tough. Finding them is trouble. If you can, if you can isolate an Olog, they're actually not that difficult. They only really have two two moves. You either dodge under them or you you press circle to stun them. Right. But that's pretty much like the only thing you can do to them. Like, and if you got a whole bunch of regular guys mixed in with two or three of them, they become a problem. Yeah, because they uh, they will swat you when you try and vault. Yeah. And when I'm trying to vault other people, they'll a lot of times just run in. Um, I'll just have someone here kill me. I can't, I don't know where it all goes. Uh, Rohit Mukherjee, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, wants to know on YouTube, can you tell me how long it takes to complete the game? Uh, there I are... I can't. You can. I'd say <laughs> it takes about 30, if not more. Uh, there's a lot of optional stuff. The quest line's kind of confusing in that there are multiple storylines. Some of them are essential, but not all of them. And sometimes they kind of don't really tell you which are. Like, you think that one is not essential, but then it mm -hmm. opens up essential quests if you complete it. Yeah. So, uh, and it's worth doing all the major storylines. Oh, is someone going to kill me? Come on. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm going to start hitting people. There you go. There you go. Uh, 
We have another question from Scrub Dodge. Is there a difficulty in this game, like in Arkham Knight, where everything is buffed and there is no warning of attack? Yeah. Oh, so you mean a special, uh, like, selectable difficulty? Uh, yeah, there's actually two things. One, and the options you can turn off, I think, uh, their hit notifications. Mm -hmm. And most of the UI, as, as, you, as, you, fit, as you feel fit. There's also uh, another difficulty mode called Nemesis. Mm -hmm. And in that, the... Uh, oh, you got saved! Ah! Do you hear the Damn it, Mog! Mog the infested! Usually that would be such a great thing! Not today, <laughs> Mog! Not today! <laughs> That, and that's a, I'm glad that happened because that that's a very cool uh, system that I believe is new to yeah, Shadow of War, that where was new. Uh, you can actually hire people and you don't even have them, or you can dominate people. You don't even have them on, as a bodyguard, and they'll just save your life. Yeah, it's saved me uh, several times actually. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can have people, people can also ambush you out of nowhere. Yeah, um, which has been kind of crazy. Okay, does anyone here want to try and kill me? Now that we've I'll light myself on fire if that helps. <laughs> also, we get a chance. Uh, Momo the Gamer 15 uh, is saying in all caps, subtitles, please, please, please. Everyone wants them. Oh. Sorry about that. I can do that. Ask and ye shall receive. Subtitles. Uh, yes. Okay, someone kill me, please. In the face, preferably. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Who's the lucky man? Come and get it. Or Mog Come shows on. up and kills you. Whoa, that was weird. Oh god, he wow. didn't even look at you. Looks like I'll kill you oh, there he is. Push Grim! No. no. Tox Slayer. Who's Crimp the Tox Slayer? Tox Slayer. From now on, I will be known as the Tox Slayer. There you have it. Push Crimp the Tox Slayer. Nemesis, and his name is Push Crimp, and I believe he's probably going to get a new title. Push Crimp? The Tox Slayer, I would imagine. Hope so. Come on. The Tox Slayer! There it is. So now he's a captain. So because he was a frontline warrior, he still has his uh, regular sword. Like, yep. if we did, like, a berserker, they'd have, like, their axes. So, um, as grunts become captains and war chiefs, They'll also gain additional classes, so he also became an assassin, which means that he can ambush me. He has that uh, really annoying no chance. He dodges around like like Mog we just killed. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to gain intel to figure out what he's weak to, and then we will turn the tables on him. Uh, we got a question from Pico Hammer Jim on YouTube. You found any cool Uruks up here yet? Uh, Not in this live stream, but no, I found some some really crazy orcs. <laughs> uh, I fought a I fought a bard who was yeah. singing with me like a, with an axe guitar. There's a poet who speaks in verse. Yeah, there's a poet. Uh, there was a guy called like Asgord the Knowing, and he, like I just came to him. He's like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I'm like, oh, all right. Uh, I also made someone go insane. Yep. Uh, which was a really funny story. It was just like. This guy who uh, I put in the fight pits because I wanted him to infiltrate uh, a war chief for me for like a nearby keep. Unfortunately, he didn't survive the fight pits. He got his uh, his butt beat. Dark, isn't it? Excuse me, I need to read that thing right there. I want to read it. Just don't mind me. I'll take a look. Uh, so then he died, and I was off to find a new captain to do what he could not. When in fact. Oh, he's terrified. He's terrified of stealth. Ooh. Okay, so if I terrify him, he'll be automatically vulnerable to. Um, uh, oops, sorry, getting lost fire. Anyway, uh, the guy he came back from the dead. He cheated death, ambushed me, and I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Because he like, he felt betrayed. Yeah. Because he used to be uh, my follower, but then I left him for dead. So he tried to kill me. <laughs> so I was like, no, that's not going to happen. Um, I ended up. Claiming him, but his level was too high, yeah, so, so I had to shame him. him. Um, unfortunately, shame. When, it, when it went into shame mode, it also said that he went de uh, deranged. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, I wonder what happens now. So like, he ran away, and I went to find him. Yeah, the, the lighting is really. I gotta say, I don't know if it's 4K mode, but like, it's very dark. It is very, very dark. Let me see if I can tweak the brightness. 
How many swords in this game? Many, many, many swords. Very many swords. You will uh, find so many swords, you will be like, I can't work, work with all these swords in the way. I don't know if there's a lot of, like, swords that really change the way you, you fight, really. But Some do. Yeah. Uh, so, right here, I, ha I kill a legendary dude. I got a legendary sword. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one is just, like, uh, you get health recovery on a critical hit, and people can drop money, too. Yeah. Um, you, you may find other ones, like this one has health recovery and execution versus just critical hits. Uh, but you can find stuff like uh, armor that'll be like, uh, I think one legendary set was like, you actually gain health when you're on fire. Uh -huh. So that changes how you fight, because you're like, I want to shoot all the explosive barrels. Mm. I need everything on fire. Yeah. Um, oh, back <laughs> to the, that story I got, I sidetracked from. I went up and found the guy again, only this time he was no longer like, Grith Nork the Head Chopper, he was Grithnak the Mindless. <laughs> and he just ran to me and started screaming, I don't know! I don't know! And he just started attacking me screaming, I don't know! And I was like, I'm sorry, what did I do to you? I you even, shamed him to the point of derangement. I did, and I'm, I felt really bad. I'm like, this poor dude, I don't even want my army anymore, I just killed him. I have a similar story where I was, I fought against a, a war chief who was like five levels higher than me, and I, I shamed him to bring him down. And it was it was a really hard fight to get him to get him to a point where I could I could dominate him, mm -hmm. and you know I was like you know what, I like you, I like you posh. Uh, I'm going to continue on trying to find you. I'm going to continue on shaming you until you are literally at level negative five. Shame quest 2017. <laughs> and so I did this. I, I shamed him. He was like 31. I shamed him down to a level 11. And every time he saw me. He was just, it was so sad. He was just like, all my friends make fun of me. I've lost everything. You've ruined my life. <laughs> and Aww. I felt so bad that I actually took it easy on him while he was a level 11. Because I was like, he's a level 11. You can't do anything to me. So this guy's trying to lure me into a trap like a loser. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I, I took it easy on him. And he ended up killing me. It was the first time I had actually died in that game. Uh, and so... It's dialogue after he finally killed me. It was like, I could kill you a hundred times over, and it wouldn't make up for the torment that you put me through. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it so was you great. You thought you could ambush me, huh? Oh no, the wrong guy. Hopefully, he's still scared. Terrified. Oh. So I think I think that's really like stories like the ones that we just told. I think are really the the reason to get this game because mm. everyone will have their own story oh yeah and those stories are going to be so much more infinitely in more interesting than what's actually going on with talion and everything else in this yeah in this I, I admit this story is like eh. uh it's if you if you're a, if you're a big lord of the rings fan you might get offended <laughs> at all the liberties they took it i'm not like i don't hate it but it is like very like some very odd choices i'm like oh okay some very interesting ones, though. Uh, they took some liberties on like developing backstories for characters that weren't really explained in like the lore. I just want to like sneak up on. I'm sorry, I was shouting a lot. I get I get animated when I talk okay. about uh, stories in this game. Dang it! Too many friends in here. Oh, there we go. That just scared him. Hope. Oh. Come on, be scared. Yeah! Terrified. Mine now. No, wait, no. Hang on. Yeah, he, he did. Whoa, he's fast. Come here. Come here. You don't get away from me. I'm very upset. People are saying that I am too loud in my mic, so I'm going to text our producer and see if he can fix that. I apologize for being too loud. I get very animated and excited when I talk about this game. It's, it's okay. I, I understand <laughs> completely. All right, here he is. Tark Slayer, huh? Now you work for a Tark. How's that? Oh no, he's too powerful to recruit! We need to yell at him! Oh no! You're a loser! <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't go crazy. Oh, nope. He became deranged. <laughs> Oops! Alright, uh, looks like we have to go see how he's doing. This could get bad. 
Uh, there's also the chance, like, I chained him to, like, lower his level down. Pretty high, actually. Uh, but there's a chance that it could rebound, and in his derangement, he becomes a dangerous maniac. Uh, wow. So, like, the guy I freaked out, eventually he became, like, a legendary orc. Mm-hmm. And it can backfire quickly. Or it could be... Oh, jeez! No, 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 no! Get away from me! I got these things just like, lie in the grass waiting for you. That could have been bad. What what are those uh, Karagors called? They're just Karagors. They're just regular Karagors? But some of them like just like actually like will stealth ambush you. You run by like a patch of grass they're in. Okay, so I think he's up here. Hopefully he's uh, doing okay. Hey buddy! How you doing? Uh, there's also a lot of verticality at some of these levels. I kind of like, like, carry mm -hmm. goal. It's like a huge cavernous area. And what's great also is that Talion has some of like the best mobility options of any character I've actually ever played as. I think it's just because they're like, you know what? He's a Wraith dude. Just let's just throw like physics out the window. Yeah. Just pretty much. Drop from any high, double jump across buildings. And it's all super fast too. Yeah. I just know how to get up there. Oh, it's Grag. I'll leave that alone. Oh, what's up, Kanzikage? He says, Yo. hey, Brendan and Mitch, this is quite the dynamic duo. Yo! <laughs> Alright, should be up here. Uh, once again, guys, if you have any questions, you can tweet us using the hashtag IGNPlaysLive. YouTube chat moves very fast, and right now they're all very mad at me for shouting into the mic. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Mitch, you and your loudness. <laughs> right. Also, what's up, Mixer? You got anything going on here? A lot of people saying hi. Hi, little Fabian. Hi, Mower Man. Uh, Sneaky Sneaky42 asked a while ago how many hours of gameplay. We already answered that. Do you know if there's a level cap? I think it's 60. Because uh, the legendary weapons and armor that you can find. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's level 10. So he's. Look, he looks fine. He doesn't look uh, crazy yet. <laughs> he's enraged by injury. Um, but yeah, the legendary weapons, like, if I find the one I have right now, I think I killed, like, a level, like, 10 or something. And I can upgrade it once I recruit level 20 orc. Once I do that, I can upgrade it again while I find a level 40 orc, and then again while I find a level 60 orc. Mm -hmm. Whereas the, like, epic or rare weapons, you can upgrade them once. Like, this one, I dealt damage to, uh, a Ray Day's Captains, so I can now upgrade it to get the, uh... Increased damage. Nice. Because I did like the quest challenge. But that's the only time I can do it. So find a better weapon, then it's kind of out. Yeah. But legendary ones, keep it because they can up be upgraded multiple yeah. times. All right, let's say hi to our good friend. Maybe this time we can. Uh... Whee! Hi. Uh, we got a question. So he's taking this well! Oh god, so great. See how they like fire. Here you go. Ba boom! Alright. Don't die quickly. Tar good. <laughs> as long as you don't kill me, sure, whatever. All right, let's have a retreat. And there we go. <laughs> we got the Dark Slayer back on our team. He still has some some issues, but we can work <laughs> it out. It's all right. You should make him your bodyguard. You're right. I probably should. So you can make anyone your bodyguard, and at that point, you can okay, you can summon them to fight for you. So command. Make them bodyguard. All right, so let's get some intel on this war chief. Oh, so he has one bodyguard, and that bodyguard, I could probably have him infiltrate. Let's do that. Let's have that. Uh, I just need to find a worm who can tell me more about them. Uh, we got a question from TS23 ASAP. What's up? Uh, are there any new creatures in this game? Uh, they're drakes. 
Ooh, Flakes yeah. are new, and they're really annoying, and I hate them uh, because they deal a lot of damage really fast, unless you mount them, in which case they become yours, and they... Which they, you can't do for, for quite a while. Like, yeah, once you get the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the, the drain ability to uh, command people, you need to lower their health down a lot. Mm -hmm. And then eventually you can get a skill where you can just drain them instantly, or just mount them instantly. Yeah. With Shadow Mount, so I recommend getting Shadow Mount. It lets you just like teleport them. Uh, they're also, they're not really creatures, but there are spiders. And spiders mm -hmm. will poison everyone near them, they'll just like crawl over them. Uh, there are also elemental grogs, which are basically grogs that just like spew fire or poison. Yep. Or ice. Which are pretty fun to bring in a fight, especially to a siege. Uh, oh, cool. We're actually very close to our... And there's also, like, elite Karagors and... Uh... Yeah, I think Dire Karagors were in the last game. Yeah. As for Graugs, Ghouls, and those guys. Uh, we got another question from Ryan Fletcher on YouTube. Got the game today. So much better than the first one. How do you guys find the Nemesis system so far? I love it! <laughs> I just... What was that? I love it! I love it! Uh, I think it's the reason to to get this game for yeah. sure. Like, there's no we don't, everyone everyone said that w once Shadow of Mordor came out that the Nemesis system was going to be the thing that like other developers really like latched onto and tried to adapt into their own game. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened. This is really the only game that has done any kind of implement right. implementation of the Nemesis system, and because of that, it's so unique. And uh, yeah, you, you won't get another game like this. Yeah, the there are like future. there are a hundred like uh, IPs and franchises I would love to see get the Nemesis treatment. I would love to see like a superhero like Batman game where like the the robbers that you like take out become like supervillains based off your actions. Mm -hmm. Like you throw a supervillain or a, like a throw some like random like robber into a vat of acid. Now he's Two Face. <laughs> uh, and stuff like that. Like I think they tell so much. So great story. Who are you? Holy oh, it's this holy. guy. He tried to damage me earlier. Well, um, I can't. I've been killing orcs for years. Shed a lot of orc blood. Oh. A lot of black has flowed over this place. Takes his name very literally. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, he's. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh. I, I am sorry, Sir Chuck88. I've been ignoring. Whoa. I've been ignoring you on Twitch chat. It's not on purpose. You've asked Whoa. so many questions. Uh, Sir Chuck wants to know: Is there multiplayer in this game? There's Which a kind of sort of synchronous, as yeah. they call it. Uh, basically, once you take over your first keep, you kind of upload an on like online copy of it, mm -hmm. and then other people can then try and uh, take that keep. Yeah, uh, and it just uses basically whoever, whatever uh, war chiefs you set up there, your overlord. It takes all that into account, and you can then take your defenses for your keep, and then you can fight other people's keeps as well. Mm -hmm. no, you don't get very that. similar, if you're right. familiar. Uh, very similar to how Metal Gear Solid's uh, yeah. forward forward uh, base work or FOBs was it? Yeah, that forward offering base. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not telling you yet. We're gonna go for a ride. Oh shoot! Wrong way. Hang on. Oh, back there. There you go. Excuse me. I'm trying to have a conversation with this guy. There we go. Uh, off we go. <laughs> I've actually never killed one by by throwing it off the ledge. Dang! Nice. And scream all the way down. I hope he comes up with like you know peg legs. Like you broke my legs. <laughs> um, we have a question from Bob Forever One on YouTube. Do you think the gameplay itself is decent, and that there aren't too many enemies at once? Do you think uh, it gets a little overwhelming with how many enemies flood the screen at once? It can be a bit overwhelming, uh, especially during keep attacks. Mm -hmm. But that's when you really have to realize like. You need to like be aware of your surroundings and know when to pull back. Yep. Why is everyone so much higher than me? It's not working. For me. I should have like leveled up higher, but I uh, didn't do a lot of other quests. Yeah. I think the interesting thing about this game. Uh, I'll wait until this finishes. At least make it fun. Flap your neck all you like. Meanwhile, 
I'll be snapping next. All right, so we want that guy, but he's a. Uh... You know why you're trying. You try to get both of them, or are you just gonna? I could, but I'm, I'm level 14, so both of them are too high oh, for me. Okay, okay. Oops. All right, I'm just gonna uh, borrow you for a second. <laughs> uh, let's put the intel on this guy. It's right there. Dazed by stealth. Well, too late for that. Epic. He's a necromancer. Ooh. Can we the dead? Eh, that's not fun. Arrow proof. Great. Okay. Uh, we'll have to shame probably both of them. Maybe. Hi. I serve the dark powers here. And I like his look. Don't yet know it, he looks very goth. Way, it's a goth look. You do <laughs> hey, can I just hang on? You got him. You got him. You got him. Got him. Hang on. Hang on. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, well, uh, here, have that. Do you excuse me now? Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I think the interesting thing about the difficulty in this game is that it can be a very tough game, but that's until you realize that you can pretty much run away from any encounter with, like, no penalty and then just come back after you refill your health really quickly. Yeah, um, it's, it's very worth your while. You shamed Patch the Poisoner. The other guy claimed victory, but that's okay, we're gonna shame him too. Um, yeah, there's a lot of moments where I'm just like, I need to get to higher ground. Oh, Juice can take Oh, good! So that little movie has is a move that's specific to his tribe, which is the Dark Tribe. I know, is it Mystic Tribe? Dark Tribe? Mm -hmm. No, Mystic Tribe. Uh, every captain. Oh, he's reanimating. Oh no! Zombies! <laughs> and he's cursed me! No. What's ah. cur so curse just uh, constantly drains your health until you until you kill someone. You also uh, deletes all your focus. Yeah, so you can't. That'd be a little too crazy for me. Um, let's go. We have an example right here. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're I'm, I'm cursed. They're all undead. One and of those guys is like five level hi levels higher than you. Yes. All right. So nice you drop by. I'll take your health. I think the un the uh <laughs> stop it. Sid Arth Ghoul wants to know, is it a very easy game or are you too good at the game? Why are you not dying? First uh, of all, Brendan is very good at games. Yeah, if I wasn't I wouldn't have my job as a guide's uh writer. Uh but even then, there there have been times when I have pulled off more than I can Oh man! Oof! Forgot about that. Oh, stop reanimating the dead. Oh jeez. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, really the, tricksters. the game can be can be pretty tough. It throws a lot at you, but at the same time, Italian is so powerful. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely like when you start facing captains. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not nice. Uh, like multiple captains, you get to like go like, okay, that guy he gets mad at the thing that makes the other guy weak, and oh no. Oh no. Nope. I really thought that wasn't uh, an assassin. Okay, I still need to just knock him down a bit more. I hope the other guys just let me. Alright, got a question from Patrick Jacobson on YouTube. I love the combat of Middle Earth, but even though you upgrade stuff, let I don't. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it! Stop it! I'll ask your question in a second! Hold on! He's almost got him! No. Oh. No more dead people. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh god, it's so slow. Where's what the happened? Thing? Just let me have this! <laughs> okay, everyone's dead. It's just you and me. Get over here. Okay. Of course, he's too high, so I'll have to yell at his face too. Score you! You're a loser! Okay, level down. It's my level. Just gotta find him again. Then we can have him infiltrate the war chief. There's a lot of steps to take. Like, you could just, like, uh, run into a keep on your own without, like, any backup. Uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, you could have, like, a bunch of assault leaders come with you. You could have a bunch of uh, people infiltrate uh, war chiefs as bodyguards and then turn on them. 
you can lure out the war chiefs before the battle starts and kill them and then lower the defense of the uh, fortress. I really like how there's just some ways to play this game. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, well, well, I wonder what happens this time if I just kill all the war chiefs and then assault the keep. And there's like nobody in there. One of my favorite YouTube videos uh, for Shadow of Mordor oh, yeah. was from a guy who ended up dominating every war chief or every like everything that he could dominate in the in a region. He he did, and then he gathered them all and he used that ability that makes them all their heads explode all at once. <laughs> it was just an, amazing to watch. I, um, I ran to a guy in Shadow of Mordor and I want to know if he's still in the game. He was just called like. So and so, the terrified, and he was literally scared of every single thing, including fear of the Grave Walker, where he would just run away at the sight of you. And I remember, like, once I found him, I just like chased him for like about two miles, just taunting him, and, like, like grabbing, him, throwing him the ground, and then eventually I just threw him off a cliff. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of mean. So I, I, I kind of read the first part of this question. Let me just finish it off. I love the combat of Middle Earth, but even though you upgrade stuff, I don't feel like you ever hit power spikes. Literally the same game throughout. Well, is it different in Shadow of War? I'm sorry, could you repeat that in one so, second? Yeah. Peekaboo! Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your days now, so... Predictable? How is that predictable if I have one up on you? Uh, basically, he's asking, does the game change throughout like are you are you finding different ways to to deal with uh situations uh yeah there's also some story quests point. that like go outside of what you normally do mm -hmm. there's kind of like more like epic like set pieces i guess mm -hmm. and i think the most of the quests of the first part of the game are all about uh getting your armies together no we're not running away this time sorry we tried that last time didn't work for you um, geez, actually, pretty well. uh, but like the later half of the game starts focusing on uh, keep defense and uh, maintain a healthy supply of not moving. Oh. So I do like how that changes up and it's not just like doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. okay. If no one bothers me today, I can just take him right here. Just chill, just chill, just chill. Got it. Okay, you're mine now. So because he, what? I thought I was a little. Did you just gain a level and not tell me? <laughs> well, guess I'm shaming you again. Oh, he did. He went to level 15. To level 16. How'd that happen? I have some weak captains on my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do that one more time. How are we on time? Uh, we're at 1:43. We're gonna be going till three o'clock. Okay. Uh, we we were thinking about doing a Evil Within stream today. We're actually gonna be doing it on Thursday. Ah, Evil Within two rather. Um, Ragdoll Chick 1992. Hey Mitch, so glad to see you doing well. Haven't talked to you since you and James were doing uh, Dark Souls one videos. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a blast in the past. Yeah, old uh, old game front uh, old game front memories. Thank you uh, for that, Ragdoll Chick. It is awesome to see you as well. Okay, now that we've shamed this dude twice, and he still hasn't learned his lesson, this time, I need ours. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend that points like these, like in the interest of time, I'm just going to go keep shaming him. But uh, it's worth your while to go do like main quests and side quests mm -hmm. to level up, because you can't, uh, you know, dump people who are higher level than you. Yeah. And the only way around that is to get higher levels. Yeah. And the only way to get experience, as far as I know, is main quests, side quests, um, killing captains, dominating captains, uh, doing online conquests. I think that's it. I mean, that's it, but there, that's a lot. It. There's yeah, so like, many different ways you can like get experience. But killing grunts doesn't get you no. any. Collectibles don't, don't no. get you any. You, so. you don't grind in the in like the traditional way of just killing yeah. enemies over and over and over again. Um, so I haven't seen this question. I'm sure it's been asked. I sure I, I just missed it because chat moves quickly. Uh, but I feel like we have to address it. We have to talk about uh, what do you think about the the loot loot box system? Yes, in I'm this glad game? someone asked that because that it was me. A... I asked that question. <laughs> oh, hey, there he is. Um, so I'll try and multitask here. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh no, that's wrong guy. This guy. Um, so yeah, it was a point of contention, like, you know, why we have these things, do I need them, are they, like, 
Is it this pay-to-win situation? Um, it feels to me like it was a, a publisher, Warner well, Brothers decision, not, not a monolith decision. I completely agree. Um, and they've done that with like an Injustice and other games. Uh, but the thing to keep in mind here is that you really do not need loot chests at all. And if you do need them, you do not need to pay for them. Yeah. Um, we can take a look in a second for it. We just do. So hopefully he's still the bodyguard. I'm just, yeah, so he has a little icon on the left. He is still the bodyguard of the captain. So now we can just make him a spy. Let's enter the war chief. Um, so let's go look at the market, actually. So once you uh, pass a little bit of Act 2, you get access to this guy, the headhunter. Mm -hmm. And you can then spend either Mirian, which is the money you get throughout the game, yep. or gold, which is the harder, mostly you got to pay for it, but there is workarounds to it. So you see if I can get more, it's like, oh, you want to buy it? Here's a thousand gold for it. We actually did this. We have a video on IGN right now. We spent a hundred bucks, so you didn't have to. And we actually show everything that you get um, and why. So the war chest will get you followers. Usually they're alleged, like, well, you have a guarantee where if you just pay regular money, the in-game money, at least one's epic. Mm -hmm. If you pay gold, at least, you know, one is legendary. If you get this giant chest, you get four legendary ones. Uh, same thing for loot. You can just buy loot. But the thing is, you're paying for stuff that you could just get in the game. Like, yeah. I just dominated a legendary orc. I could have just killed them and gotten the thing, or just dominated him like I did, and I got him. Yeah, there and was some misinformation going around the internet about legendary orcs and how, like, you couldn't get them in your in your party if you didn't pay for them or something like that. Yeah, that's, and that's just completely false. Yeah, you just saw me get a legendary. They're, they're not even that rare. Yeah, uh, they just kind of show up wherever. Sometimes it's because you shamed one, or they cheated death, or you put them in the fight, fight pits, mm -hmm. or I think every overlord of every region is a legendary. Um, and so I think I got... Let's just, let's just buy a chest right now so you can see. Here's a war chest, a uh, pair of orc followers, and either train orders or to our spells of war. So let's just buy it with some money because I have some money right there. Pico Hammer Jim says, I wonder what that guy's story is. Why is he fiending for that uh, Marion or whatever the, the currency is? You Marions? <laughs> so I got a regular Olog level 15 and they're all around what level you are yep. in the game. So it's if you do want to buy these chests, make sure that you don't already have a surplus. Like if you get high level and you round it up orc training level, then it's a good idea to buy a chest like this. And then this guy, he is epic, guaranteed, also level 15. And I also got train orders, which are one thing that you can't get. And basically all it is, is you can give a specific skill to one of your captains. Mm -hmm. So for this, I can give him a warrior gang. But odds are, if you look at his things, he may already have a gang. He does not. <laughs> way, to, way to prove our point. Yeah, I know. Er, but Masi, but this, this guy is immune to execution, and he's not even rare or legendary. Uh -huh. I mean, execution is a great skill. And yeah. I've gotten legendaries who are like mortally vulnerable to flammable. I'm like, great, one fire shot and he's dead. So it's like, it's really like, I wouldn't go like, oh, I gotta get that legendary because they might not even be good. They're all these stats are randomized, which is can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. It's like this guy's a gang of Volocks. He doesn't really need another gang. He's mm -hmm. already got one. But he also has at least one epic trait, which makes him uh, enraged, which is great. He's a good guy. I like him. I have him like uh, fight for me. So yeah, and the same thing with... Uh, with gear, I mean, like, yeah, you can buy gear, but you just kill orcs. Mm -hmm. why, why, why would you not want to do that? Um, let's just go back to the market. So from the market, if you get an orc, you can then uh, deploy them. So I really like this dude. So I'm going to deploy him. And they'll just take over the spot. If, if it's a full up, they have to actually fight for their spot. Mm -hmm. So it's probably good that you make sure that there's room. Otherwise, there's a chance they could die when they're trying to fight for their rank. Let's have him in there. Let's get the other guy too, I guess. Uh, I, I did want an Olog. So no space available. Are you sure you want to create a duel between the followers? This cannot be undone. Uh, oh, between followers. I thought it was between like random orcs. Yeah, so I, I'm going to wait for, on that guy. So I don't want to like kill the guy I just spent all this time trying to get in my uh, party. Um, let's get... What if we should, oh, let's actually get uh, one of the perfect counter skills. Let's you instantly kill someone. Great upgrade. Let's you instantly kill uh, regular orcs when you try and counter them. Uh, when you get a chance, also, we got a request to uh, check out photo mode. Oh, yeah. Like so we'll 
take a look at that real quick. Get that a weapon. Do that. Well, let me make sure it's enabled because it's like disabled by default. Okay, it is. We'll have to find a really cool, cool scenario. So now that we have what? Let's look at our army screen. Are we ready to fight? We to take on this big old keep. So he, the only war chief that's still alive uh, has our little infiltrator. We don't know who he is. We should probably do that. And then we also have our bodyguard, Push, Mog, green. and this dude. So then uh, we can also hit left shift to go into our siege upgrades. So if we start the battle, we have two slots for salt leaders. Next one unlocks at level 20, which I'm not there yet. And he has reinforced stone walls and the surviving guy has defenders. So I think we're in a good place. I think we're ready. We're just going to figure out who he is and then we'll do it. Uh, we have a question from Christopher Johnson on YouTube. Are there other characters that you can play as? The answer is no, as Not far yet. as I know. There's, Not yet. Uh, there's, I think, two expansions they said that they're going to have for DLC. Uh, one you play as a person from Gondor, and the other you play as an elf. We're both okay. in the main story. Let's figure who this dude is. Oh, that's not that's not entirely true because you do get to play as Calibrimbor in uh, in some flashback. Basically, missions. yeah. <laughs> but really, you're just playing this as Talion nice. with a different skin. So yeah, this is a uh, a legendary. Yeah. Who's defending the keep? He's terrified of burning, which might help us a lot. Um, enraged by a lot though, killing frenzy. Rage on mortal wounds. He's in, oh no, he's immune to execution. God. That's like my go-to. Okay, well, I guess I have to shoot him in the face a lot. Uh, it actually reminds me. It might be worth it if I don't already have one to get a like fiery move. That might require some elven light. Okay, maybe I should do that. I'm gonna do a quick side mission first because I want a skill point. If you need skill points, you go find one of these things to do. Mm -hmm. um, because none of, my, none of my moves on their own deal fire damage. Yeah. And you can... there's probably only going to be like very few um, like fire pits in mm -hmm. the overlord chamber. Yeah, if you need skill points, you can also seek out the towers in each area yes. to... Uh... Because five yeah, collectibles in each area. It's an open world game. There are towers to unlock, you know, stuff on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about those towers? They, for their part, they take a little funny approach where you kind of like pull out a telescope in each tower and like you look around and like you can like mark collectibles on the map. Uh -huh. So it does require some work on your part to find everything. It's not just like you look down. There is everything. Go get them. Um, but I mean, beyond that, it's just. Yeah. Tower. Also, I think they doing unlocking all three of them can also unlock some side quests in the area. Okay, let's go do this and we'll be ready for our fight. <laughs> Kanze Kage on Twitch wants to know, are there any orcs who are overly into cleanliness? Some of these titles, wow. <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, Push crimp the clean. If you were an orc, what would your orc name be? I was an orc, what would my orc name be? Hmm. I didn't even see what my like thing was. Krishnak the Reckless. The Reckless? The Reckless. Okay, so if you're reckless, what are your uh, your strength weaknesses? Uh, I would just go into a battle, swing flailing my arms, making it impossible for the player to actually do a counter. I would be immune to counters. Mm -hmm. uh, and but the the problem would be I would just take damage like crazy. I already avoided detection. Maybe that's not. I would be a very weak orc, <laughs> not very skilled at fighting, just like in real life. Yeah, uh, I'd probably be like, um, Gorthank the mildly anxious. The mildly anxious. I'd be like, you know, terrified of of most things. Terrified of spiders for sure. Ooh, spiders in this game are very scary. Yeah. Uh, I would be, uh, I would be en enraged by uh, ghouls, because those things just piss me off. Uh, I would also be enraged when I saw another captain, because I can get extremely jealous. <laughs> I think I just screwed up this whole challenge, but let's find out. I need to at least, like... Uh, we have another question from Joao. I, I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. 
Joao Pedro Ferreira, uh, is it, will it be possible to create, customize your own orc character world uh, for you or others to play in? Uh, it's basically your 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 fort. Uh, your fort is what you customize for the world to see, mm -hmm. and each of your forts. Uh, there's like an online copy that gets uploaded. So if you have a really good captain or a war chief or an overlord, by placing them in there, people get to fight against them, and also your defenses. Um, so like you know, you have the the chance to go like, okay, what really would piss someone off, like someone who's in execution? Let's do that. Let's put our war chief as that. He was also like enraged by everything, which is an actual uh, trait. There's a trait called enraged by everything, where they just get mad. And what happens when they're enraged? Uh, they cannot be grabbed. They deal more damage. Their attacks are unblockable. Basically, everything you don't want to happen. That's what happens. Basically, when you see that that they're enraged, you just constantly roll away from them. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. And then some have like burning rage, where they'll stay enraged longer. Uh, there are some commanders who have a dying command to make all of their followers mad when they die. And it's really funny because, like, they'll actually have, like, a good amount of voice work. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, like, I killed the dude, uh, and then I could hear, like, right as I killed him, all those like, He killed Krishna! Get him! <laughs> I'm like, oh! I'd say all these, like, unblockable attack flash, I was like, oh no! <laughs> But it was like funny how they actually like voiced like the name of the commander who just died. Uh -huh. Okay, that should be. Uh, we have a question from Rub Two Zero Four on Twitch. Do you think it's worth buying the Golden Edition? Do you know what's actually uh, included in the Gold Gold Edition? I forgot. I think it was a free loot box. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know what else was in it. Uh, in which case, I would say maybe if you want to leg up. But I mean, if you if it's really if you don't want to spend time. Killing orcs or dominating orcs, which is the funnest part of this game. Yeah. Uh, so if, if the gold edition only has loot boxes, I'd say no. Uh, but I mean, you can always use them. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It just depends on how much it's worth to you. Okay, so I got my other skill point. Uh, question also from Berserk Ninja. Is the difficulty consistent throughout the story? Any difficulty spikes that you notice? I personally haven't really... I, I feel like it's been pretty consistent all throughout. Yeah, there's a, there's been a few moments where I'm just like, oh, it's got really hard. Usually when it has to involve drakes. Yeah. If there's a drake, I'm really mad. <laughs> uh, and I recommend shooting them in the face until they land, and then trying to score a multiplier on someone else so that you can execute the drake. That's an instant kill. Yeah. Uh, but when you're trying to just slash at them, they'll just like whirl around and like deal heavy damage to you, which is really annoying. Um, there's a couple of like actual boss fights. They weren't too hard. Some one of them was was pretty hard. Uh, the other ones, not terribly, not like unforgivingly. Mm -hmm. um, and then like towards the end of the game, it just a lot of siege attacks and siege defenses, uh, which if you don't have a great uh, amount of captains, that could be really bad for you. Yeah. Speaking of, are we so gonna do it? We're vastly under leveled for this. Ooh, like, Brendan, almost, I believe in you though. Level twenty nine. But when did it ever stop us? <laughs> Besides, we have a man on the inside, so he's going to be our, he's our bodyguard, he's infiltrating the war chief, that's our assault leader, and then uh, Shaka Thinbones, who we got from the chest, will be our other guy. So, also important to note, I don't know if we, if we covered this, but, uh, so all those war chiefs that are on the, the castle wall, mm -hmm. basically they're tied to a, spe a special ability of the, of the fort, so if you're able to kill them, you take away that special ability. So right there, you see he has reinforced walls uh, yeah, that so will cause problems Yeah, so if we killed the earlier, he wouldn't have the defender host. Yeah. Uh, but the Overlord can't be killed earlier, so he has that thing. Luckily, we can bring sappers. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. And we'll match this defender host with our own defender host because they helped capture victory points earlier. We All could right. also do savages. We should do savages instead. He doesn't have any... Caragors. I think savages are fine. Let's do those guys. All right, we got a, we got an answer from Mizore on YouTube about the uh, the gold edition. So basically, uh, the gold edition comes with all expansions and a gold box. Silver comes with just the tribe expansions and a silver box. Ah, well, um, I haven't seen the expansions yet, but yeah. I'm assuming if it's more of the good stuff, then yeah, go for it. But yeah, loot boxes just like, yeah. I would personal. say take take loot boxes out of the equation and just. Oops. Get it based on how much you want those expansions. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. 
This could go horribly. This could go right. We don't know yet. Oh, uh, Pico Hammer Jim wants you to bring the Tark Slayer in. <laughs> well, if our captains die in this assault, our next assault will bring the... There we go. And we're going to summon our Tark Slayer for the boss fight. Because he has to be the Overlord after all. Yeah. Hey, Mog, what's up? Remember when I tried to kill you? <laughs> There's some flies in your face. Now you're infested. Good times. I heard you took shark boards. I wasn't impressed. You know why? Because I know who you took it from. Got a lot of beasties in here want to rip you to pieces. Crack your bones. Chew up your sweet bits. But you know what they're going to do? Get in line behind me! Sounds exactly like a jolly fella. So Ready to go, boss. You think the Bright Lord is stopping at one fort? He's going to take every stronghold in Mordor! I really need to spend some time looking at the credits of this game just to see how many actors they got for this. There, and there must be a lot, and there's just so many lines of dialogue. You can you can tell why the game is as big a file as it is. Yeah. All right. So while they blow up four, I'm gonna go take out the archers one time. Right. So he got those sappers basically for that, so he can crash through that door. Yeah. And just Otherwise, my guys get in. have to uh, go over the walls. Yeah. Which can be bad if they have like fire spouts. I'd say they did not. Hey guys, how's it all going up here? How you doing? Thought I'd stop by. Kill you all. Okay, so Missouri says the two expansions that are in gold are the story expansions. So yeah, I, yeah. I think that's really the deciding factor of whether you want to get the gold mission or not. Whether you're, you're planning on getting those expansions and uh, you know you don't want to pay for them as they come. Right. I think my captain just jumped over my own face. He just loves to be acrobatic. All right, since there was no war chief here, that was like an easy one. Uh, but I think that the next, oh, maybe. See, there's supposed to be three capture points, but because I killed two war chiefs when I stopped by the region earlier, there's only one war chief. Hey, look at that! So much easier. Do you think you're gonna have a good time, uh, easy time killing this uh, this overlord though? Nope. <laughs> nope. It's gonna be real tough. <laughs> what's uh, what's the highest level disparity that you've had to deal with uh, that you've successfully dealt dealt with? I would say. Uh, this might be the first. Yeah? If I kill him. What's, what level is he right now? I think he's like 23, 24. And you're like 15 or so? Yeah, it's like almost a 10 level difference. Yikes. That's why we got you here, Brendan. I sure hope so. And let's catch him. Boom. You also want to be careful if you have a lot of uh, guys on your side that they don't all get enraged by things because when they start fighting each other because they're just so mad. There we go. The courtyard, that's where they are. Betrayal. So he's already knocked him down pretty well, which is good for me because I can do this. Dog pile. I there you go. Broken. Already broken. And he's that's, level 30, 24? That's 24, I think. It's hard to see because we're playing in 4K. The yeah. text is really small. And <laughs> boom. Headshot. Headshot. Oh, yeah, Mog's already enraged. I'm going to give him a little... Oh, okay. careful, Mog. Careful, Mog. Careful, Mog. Calm down, Mog. Okay, Mog, Mog, Mog. Have you gotten a chance uh, to try this game in uh, Nemesis mode? Nemesis mode? Yeah. That should remind me about uh, photo mode. Oh yeah, photo, photo mode. Here so we go. About that. So, in photo mode you can pause at any time and just press the P button. I don't know what it is on consoles. And then you can pan, you can dolly, you can like look around. You can set an anchor point on a character if you like highlight cool. them. Uh, and then we can get rid of that. I can find... Can you, can you choose poses? Like no, facial expressions? Like it, yeah, it's just Aww. like... It's not like you have a camera. He's been getting used to. What's up, Pill? Pill says hey in uh, Twitch chat. Hey, yo. 
I also focus on other people too. Maybe actually take a selfie. Let's try it. <laughs> All right, beat that guy. Let's uh, hey you. <laughs> take a Dead Rising style selfie. Yeah, he's too mad for the hog. There we go. Just got a. Back up. Oh, there, there's a, there it is. Oh, Italian chai. <laughs> he wants a handsome one to Best be, to be, to be facing the camera. <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> Thanks, Mog. All right. No so problem, boss. Let's get our elf shot back. Let's, you know, it's kind of drain you. You're, you're okay, right? Just go up top. Yeah, you don't mind. So, but you don't have, I don't think you have the, the upgrade that gets you uh, elf shot back, right? No, but I do get okay. health back. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah. Luckily, there's elf shot all around here. What's with the FPS? We're playing on PC in 4K mode. So when, I guess when it went to camera, camera mode and had to deal with everything that was going on, yeah. uh, frame rate took a hitch. But it's, it's been playing pretty smoothly yeah. so far. All right. This could get bad. Where is he? Can't even tell. Are you here to challenge me? <laughs> oh, I love a good challenge. Lord. So we have our burning, which is our only thing to get. What's he? What's he mortally weak to? Nothing. Oh, the he weakness. Just, right no, there? he just has a terrified. Oh, which terrified will, burning. Okay. It will get rid of his immunity while he's terrified. Mm. So I can try and do a uh, my elf rage thing and then follow up with that. But he also has furious charge. He intimidates people. He rampages. He's got feral claws, hunter spears. He's got everything. Just here to end you. Luckily, I've got someone of my own. Just hope he doesn't die. He probably will. He's like really like quite like level five. <laughs> <laughs> also, his forte is killing Tarks, not killing. Me. Still. Let's get him! Get him! What's your uh, favorite weakness to, to get on, on enemies? On them? Yeah. Uh, Is it, oh, other than like mortally weak to something. Uh, when it's good when they're terrified of poison, because then I just like... There are some weapons you can get that like will have a chance of dealing with poison. He's in rage! Look at him go! <laughs> Look at that little Tark Slayer go! Ready? Burninate! Yeah, he's terrified now. Oh, he's already broken. This poor baby. Oh, man. Brendan, <laughs> you dominated this. Watch out for the Olog. So he's what, level 20, 29, is it? Uh, is he level 29? Yeah, I think so. Jeez. Just just for point of, refer uh, point of reference here. Hey, where are you going? Brendan is only like level 15 or 16. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Oh, you think you're going to get away? Do you have the uh, the upgrade that lets you do a uh, quick dominate with uh, no. two button presses? Oh man, it's so good. Cheap. Okay, I know you love to slay, Tark Slayer, but give me a second here. Your finest fault is not <laughs> easy to claim, hard to hold. Wise words from Lorm Worm Maggot. You did it! Oof. That went uh, surprisingly easier than I thought. Yeah. yeah. It's all about uh, exploiting weaknesses. Like, if yeah. you find what they're terrified of, uh, and you can actually make that work to your advantage, like, there weren't, there wasn't anything else to explode, so I had to use my elf uh, rage thing to yeah. light on fire. Otherwise, that would have been, like, a near impossible fight with him being immune to execution. You can hear the thunder of our enemy's feet as they flee! Adam, Adam Levine just says, burning skin snap. <laughs> I had the they know that we are coming for them. Witness the rise of the gun just don't point this out. I, I don't think he's really gonna make these speeches. You're not you're not uh roused and not ready, not ready really. to uh to take on the world, Brendan? I, I don't it's something about like what he says, just like you're losing me, Caliburn boy, you're losing <laughs> me. 
Like, we're gonna get those guys! We're gonna go on! We're gonna survive! <laughs> it's definitely Today no... Today we celebrate our yeah, independence! I was gonna say, it's definitely no Independence Day speech. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Alright, so we got skill point, got some money, got legendary weapons, and now... Since he was enraged the entire battle, I think he would make a really good... Oh, hello. Suku the Unner... No. No? Nope. Okay? No, it was Pushkin the Tark Slayer. I think I should put my bodyguard. Push him to Tark Slayer. That's the one. What was he enraged to? It was enraged by injury. That's a good thing to have. Anytime they hit you, he just gets mad. So yeah, Push him to Tark Slayer is now going to be... <laughs> Hates know, getting right. hit. <laughs> Afraid of not, not liking pain. So because he's a, uh, a warmonger tribe, the place now has the warmonger look and feel of it. Uh, one of our other guys is now the war chief. You've earned enough gold for when did that happen? Uh it looks like they gave you some gold. Oh yeah, that's right. So when you take your first keep, other than the story quest one, mm -hmm. you get awarded with uh, kind of like a, a kind of like an objective, like a challenge almost. Mm -hmm. And you get I think fifty for the first one you defend online, like the one when yours your online version is defended successfully, you get another award of fifty. But yeah, so that like don't bother paying for money when you can just get 500 right there. And right. I think you can also get, uh, there are certain daily challenges. And this one gives you gear to your level. This one gives you gems. Grog Hunter, kill two Grogs and Mordor, gives you 50 more gold. That's not bad. Yeah. So there are ways to get gold other than just paying money. You can earn gold through the game. Definitely. Look at that. Now I've got Shaka Thin Bones and Mog as my war chiefs. So then at this point, I can then make uh, Zuka the Unashamed. I can command him Zuka. to be Mog's uh, bodyguard. There you go. So then when now someone, they're best friends. When someone tries to uh, take on our online keep, they'll have to go against both of those guys. And then, while I'm at it, I think I should be able to... Hopefully I can get him in now. Oh, Limb Ripper boy. Yeah, there we go. Alright guys, just a really quick uh, housekeeping update. Once again, we are live on YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, and... Everywhere. God, everywhere. Just literally everywhere. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the chat, or you can tweet us using the hashtag IGNPlaysLive. It's been very quiet on Twitter. It's a little sad, a little lonely. Oh, no um, we did have someone say, is this a Play Anywhere title? If you um, have it on Xbox One, yeah, it's PC uh, and, I, and Windows 10. There you go. Actually, I've only ever had one Play Anywhere title that I've actually played with ReCore. And it does track your uh, Xbox achievements, which is nice. Uh, Pill wanted to know on Twitch, uh, how much money have you already dumped on microtransactions? Zero dollars. I've spent a hundred dollars of someone else's money. Yep. For a video you can watch for, uh, we spent $100 on this game. Just for the video. So you don't have to. Uh, I don't recommend it. But yeah, like you just saw, we got 500 coins for just taking a keep. Yeah. Uh, which is, actually, I wonder what the, uh, the equivalent of that would be if I were to try and buy it. I'm very interested. So I think there are absolutely, absolutely examples. So yeah, five bucks. I got yeah. five bucks for free. I think there are absolutely examples of single player games that have microtransactions in them that have negatively impacted the actual core mechanics of the game. Yeah. Dead Space 3 immediately comes to mind. Where Things that like you needed to progress and like you're at a disadvantage if you don't. Yeah, like even if you don't buy anything, your your enjoyment of the game is impacted simply by the fact that this system exists. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is the case here in Shadow of War. I think by and large, the game is identical to how it was in Shadow of Mordor, which didn't have the same loot, uh, loot box mechanics. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a completely ignorable system. It's just if you, for whatever reason, don't want to kill orcs for loot, you can pay to bypass that. Yeah, you can also, I forgot one other thing about the online stuff. If you go in the online menu here, uh, it tells you your overall rating mm -hmm. uh, for each of the different keeps. And as you raid or successfully defend those keeps, you get spoils of war points. Yeah. If you get enough of them, you get a spoils of war chest for free, which is more orcs and gear and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you can just keep raiding other people's keeps, which is fun 
because it never ends, um, and get uh, keeps that way or chests that way as well. If you don't want to spend like the in-game money to do it, um, so it looks like one of our characters that I just deployed. I can't make him a bodyguard because he's already active in a quest. Uh, we got a request to do a pit fight, which I want to see as well. That's a good idea. Let me uh, get him out of this, and then we can have him pit fight. Maybe I'll just like. Um, you can actually have two followers fight each other too. If you're that devious. <laughs> Gonna have tryouts. <laughs> I'm pretty devious. Something just moved over there. Yeah, pit fights are dangerous because there are good rewards, like you can level up a captain pretty well in a pit fight, but if they die, they're dead. <laughs> you don't get them back. And in the off chance that they do cheat death, usually they're really mad at you for, for letting them die. <laughs> don't ask me why, it was their choice. I think it was. Whee! Also, I got a legendary weapon. I mean, to equip that. Uh, was it a dagger? Yeah, there we go. So, Lorne Magnus gave us the Dagger of Beasts, because he was in the Beast Tribe. It reduces Call Mount cooldown by 7, and a quick throw applies Curse every 37 seconds. That's pretty good! Not too shabby. And then there's also, um... There's also gems that you find all Yeah, we didn't go over that. So you unlock a slot one time only, or one time you only need to do it, uh, for like daggers. And then you find gems in the wild that can do uh, kind of like Diablo almost in a way, like you mm -hmm. socket them. And you can uh, combine three of a kind to upgrade into the next power level. So this would increase health steal, this would increase uh, chance to drop money, mm -hmm. and overall damage. Yeah. I well like... Uh, overall damage, I guess. We'll my that. favorite was I slotted my uh, ring with a wealth gem, like a level 3 wealth gem. And basically what that does is any captain that I, I dominate will immediately go up in level by 3. Yeah, that's very useful, especially if you're low level and you get someone at your level. Mm -hmm. They'll become higher, but they still won't. Like, they won't, like, run away from you. Okay, so Lim Ripper is facing an enemy captain in a duel. Let's see how he does. Teach you meaning of pain, then defeat, then death. I'll kill you if I must, yes? Say. Hmm, he's level what? 22? Oh, I can't. I'm a mild team. Oh, wow, we just smacked him. <laughs> I get him for a better look. Hang on. Don't mind me, just watching. Come on, Armasi, you can do it. Dang. <laughs> he was just enjoying the show. Why, why did you do that, Brendan? There's a chance he could have uh, helped. <laughs> oh! If you thought I was dead, it's Hogly oh, Crackbait! He's back! That surprise is my black blade. Dude, oh, really? God, again black again with the black blade, we get it. Like now, he, you actually killed this guy, right? I, yeah, it was the beginning of the stream. <laughs> I, I threw him off a ledge! Oh, that's right! I, guess I mean, it, first of all, Brendan, you should know the, the rule of media. If you don't see the, if you don't confirm the kill... I saw his body fly off and hit a ledge on the way down. He could have hit... Well, okay. You're right. Also, <laughs> railing kills are always a guaranteed death. From what I've seen in movies. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you go. Boogie boogie. You are weak against the black Hope the other guy is doing okay. I want I would wanna say that uh, you know, if if they're not decapitated or they're not cleaved in half, they're not confirmed dead. But I think the honest truth is that even if that happens, they're still not confirmed dead. I think the decapitation's the only surefire way. Oh yeah? I've never seen one come back from decapitation. But I mean they have necromancers in this game, so anything's off at this point. Point. Yeah, I'm gonna shame you. You didn't learn your lesson when I threw off a ledge. Shame, shame, shame. Booga booga booga! <laughs> so if I could have a request, uh, if we if we have time, I want to go back 
to hug the black. <laughs> oh, he became Birth to Rage. We definitely have did to go you, back to. Did you to... see what he said? No, he, like, he said blue blade, red blade. <laughs> He we forgot the color of his blade! We definitely have to go back and uh, shave him again. He's been doing pretty well. Oh no! Ah! I spoke too soon! Yikes! That was his arm! <laughs> that was his arm. <laughs> uh, someone said GameSpot workers. What's the, the next level? GameSpot workers? <laughs> Not GameSpot! Do we have GameSpot in the audience? <laughs> Not game spot, but do you know what? Uh, I, I feel like we talked about it it's earlier. It's level 60, I'm pretty 60 sure. 60 is the max level. Where do you go? Where do you it go? It will take you hey, quite a while to hey, get there. Hey! You killed my friend. What's that? What? You want to be shamed when into your life? Really? Okay. You cannot escape your destiny! Mm -hmm. That's his fair destiny. Oh no, spiders! Ah! Apparently I completed a challenge being hit by a spider. Are you actually scared of spiders in, in games? I'm afraid of spiders in any form. Yeah? Any shape spiders freak you out? I hate spiders. Have you played uh, Resident Evil? Yes, yes yeah? I have. Is that, is that just the, the biggest nightmare game that you've ever played? Uh, also <laughs> that area in Bloodborne with the spiders. Oh man, that's real rough. With the, the ones with like, the human spiders. heads on them? Yes. Ooh, that's real bad. Well, sorry, Ermassi. I'm glad I got you the loot box. My, to die. my thing is mimics. Uh, mimics scare the crap out of me. Really? Yeah. It's a very weird and very specific thing. Uh, but you said you wanted to go find that guy who got Yeah, out. I'd say let's, let's find Blackblade and shave him some more. Now he's Blueblade. Or Redblade. <laughs> No, he's not sure what blade he is anymore. He's a he blade. Might be, he might be colorblind. <laughs> and then we'll do a pit fight after that. He looks Berserk angry. Ninja says he was nursed back to hell from ghouls. Perfect. The perfect revenge story. <laughs> Top 10 anime revenge stories. I just want like me like an orc goes like, Let me tell you of my tragic origin story. You got like 15 minutes, this is going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so great. Uh, Xfin213 wants to know, how's the difficulty in this game? Easy or somewhere in between? We kind of talked about difficulty already, but how would you put this? I'd say it can change in a heartbeat. Like, mm -hmm. It's all about planning. If you plan things, things can go pretty smoothly. If you infiltrate war chiefs, take out people ahead of time, focus on you know the weaknesses. Yep. Uh, you can do really well. If you just charge in head first and not know what you're doing. You're going to have a rough time. Yes, you will. Yeah. Yep, that's that's how I would describe it as well. Yo, what's up? Here you go. Okay. <laughs> Pico yeah, Hammer Jim. What's up now? Pico Hammer Jim. <laughs> he, he totally forgot what his blade is. What a poor guy! I'm it's a really... black blade. He was so he was so passionate about the black blade before. I've taken that from him. I've oh. taken his black blade. He doesn't even Shame know. Shame him! Shame him some more for not remembering the color of his blade. <laughs> it's a black blade, you idiot! Just just look at it. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, I keep wanting to, to tell you controller buttons. I'm like, oh, press square. <laughs> Sure, one day I'll figure out what his player's blade is. Yeah, I, this is a character I have not met in my other playthroughs. This is awesome. I've never met a black blade. I've never made him go crazy and forget what the color of his blade was. It's a purple blade. Think it's a yellow blade. <laughs> 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 oh, this is so good. Can we just spend the rest of the stream tormenting uh, this guy? Chat, are you okay with that? Can we just make the stream about uh, the black blade? It's a black player, you idiot! I'm gonna make him be in a pit fight now. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's gonna die in a pit fight! Well, he, he can come back, there's always room for a sequel. <laughs> Shadow of War 2 with a black blade like revenge. The Orcs enjoy playing at war. Had to see how well they handled the real thing. Uh, it's KixX on YouTube says, do you think this game's good? Yes, I think yes, it's great. Yes, it is. Okay, so here is the pit fight. Oh, we don't get to choose who it is. I thought we get to choose. Never mind. Um, 
So let's see what this guy is. He is a level 21. Oh god. Black Mortally vulnerable to stealth. We don't have any assassins. Hogrick doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. Got a flame weapon. So let's make sure whoever we send in is not uh, terrified of fire. Otherwise, we're not going to last very long. You shall taste the uh, green blade? Yes, the green blade. Uh, looks like all we have is Zuka. The only person that I is terrified of curse. Hold on to stealth. He has a smoke bomb. He's got a curse weapon. Uh, eh, he'll do. Ragdoll pit, chick fight, pit, fight. Oh. Sorry. No, that's alright. Uh, Ragdoll chick 1992 wants to know any others getting evil within two on Friday. I'm too busy. But it looks cool. I'll probably end up playing it. Embrace the mark. Yeah. I did many others. Now I stand before you, not with shame. Yeah. So there's always a chance that shaming backfires. Uh huh. And they like love it. They're just like, yeah, I'm unashamed. Yeah, I had that happen to oh, oh, no. oh man. Get in there. Get in there. Oh shoot, it's cut. I don't know. I think our unashamed boy might be in over his head over here. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? Ten level ten level difference? Oh god, he just sent him to his death. <laughs> is he legendary? Uh, he maybe. Oh no! Hey, if he can't survive against level 21, Oof. he's not that loud in there. Yikes! Uh, he just exploded. Super yikes! He's literally Look body what you parts. did to him. On the plus side, I got some gear. Hey, you turned him into a ring. And the guy's still here. I guess I can just, uh, get revenge. You think you're going. Mizori wants to know how good is the replayability for you compared to Shadow of Mordor? Uh, I think the multiplayer gives it a long life. Yeah. Because uh, you can constantly level up, get better keeps, keep trying to change how your keep is, keep taking over other keeps. Um, the legend. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, because every region kind of has like kind of like levels to begin with. Mm hmm. Oh, it's ranged. Everyone in this game is getting deranged. I've never had anyone in my game go deranged. I I had like one. Now I have like eight people who are all crazy. <laughs> um, I forget what I was saying. We were talking about the longevity of the game. Yeah, uh, because like this region, everyone's like level like level twenty. Yeah. So this is a great place to have like level twenty fights and like take on level twenty keeps. And then once you get to a higher level, you're like, okay, I want a bigger challenge. I'll go on and take the uh, the forts at like Saragoth or Gorgoroth. And then once you get to late game, you can then like find players who have like a high level keep and like you keep going basically. Sure. And then uh, while you're raiding people's keeps, you can keep whoever you kill like for gear wise. And I'm not sure if you can keep them if you dominate them too, I forget. It might just be for the keep assault and not actually like you don't take it back with you. Mm -hmm. But it's like an endless supply of gear. Uh, yeah, and I think uh, the legendary system in this game, the legendary loot system, is pretty... If you are into getting the best loot and upgrading that loot, uh, I think you're you're going to be in for quite a long a You long will track. be forever getting yeah. more gear. Uh, the rate I was getting gear, I had to like, you know, throw it away. Cause I'm like, okay, I got too much now. Yeah. I, I, th I think the big question is, if you enjoy killing Urx, Mm -hmm. You will be able to play this game for, for quite a while, as long as it doesn't get boring to you. Yeah, um, so far this hasn't, and I, I'm going to replay this game on a Nemesis mode. I think the hardest difficulty, if you take on keeps and you don't kill everybody, they can have War Chiefs come in and, and uh, come back, mm -hmm. which they don't do in normal mode. Uh, we had a question about... Uh, oh God, I, I forgot. Uh, what, how many regions there are? Uh, one, two, three, five regions? Five regions. You know what we haven't done? We haven't uh, made a death threat on someone yet. Oh, well, we can do that too. Could backfire horribly on we got that. We got about 30 minutes left uh, before the end of the stream. I definitely want to revisit uh, Black Blade and uh, see, what color, see what color blade he thinks his, his sword is now. <laughs> You don't even know. You don't even know what color my blade is. Uh, yeah, is there anything else you want us to yeah, let's take know. a look at? I have a bunch of quests open, side missions, different regions. Everything's open to me right now. Yeah, we've pretty much gone over everything that we really can in this game. We went over 
uh, loot boxes. We went over a uh, conquest. Uh, we dominated many, many orcs. We shamed many, many orcs. Um, so yeah, if there's anything specific that you wanted us, uh, wanted us to check out, let us know. You're live on YouTube, Let's Twitch, Mixer, Facebook. Though I'm not really checking Facebook. But I'm a death threat. Much. Sorry. Now he's got a uh, higher quality gear on him. Are we related? No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know why you would think that. I mean, you never know. <laughs> In the season finale, it reveals that we were separated first. What? Uh, was that here? Is this an online game? No, it is a single player game, but there are online e elements. Asynchronous online play is what we call it. Right, raid a friend's key. And you can search by, I think, like your friends list or uh, random people. Eric Valera says there are more than five regions. No, you're reckoning. Mina Setho, Korgoroth, Kirith Ungol, Nernen, Theragost. Unless you count Mina Setho, Mina Smorgol as two different ones when they're. Same region. What am I missing here? <laughs> I gotta kill Sap. Where is he? Was in the keep? Wow. Hide now in the fort. This is gonna be really bad. Yeah, whenever they start hiding out in forts and you gotta draw them out, you run the risk of uh, setting off every single alarm ever and having an entire fort of people come after you. Oh, that, yeah, that's a, that's a fun mechanic uh, where people can go chase after the alarms and you have to stop them before they get to it. Uh, once again, I like pinning their foot down and being like, no, no you don't. Stop that. What do you think you're doing? Ugly outfit, big skin. Hey. They it up with some feathers. My, my. You're not my target, though. If you don't mind, I'm kind of busy. I'm looking for this other guy I made a death threat to. Here's a good question from Bruno Valerio on YouTube. Is the game an Act 4 too grindy if you don't buy loot boxes, that is? Uh, both Dan, the reviewer, and I never had any real problem with grinding uh, an Act 4. But if you're not uh, keeping up cool. on your dominations, mm -hmm. it might become grindy. Uh, because you have to do so many, uh, a lot of uh, keep defenses in a lot of different regions. And if your guys are getting killed in these defenses, and you're not dominating the attackers, which you should be, you can run out of people and then go, oh shoot, there's no one to defend my keep anymore. Yeah. So I really recommend if you're doing, if you get to Act 4, uh, to look for whoever is attacking your keep and just dominate them. Mm. Yeah, I think that kind of goes back to what we were talking about in terms of the difficulty of this game, where if if you're kind of pushing forward forward through it kind of recklessly and just you know trying to get through it as fast as you can, mm -hmm. you're gonna have trouble later on. Yeah. Which for me is not a problem because Suck. the core gameplay is so fun in this game. Yeah. Alright, it's ten. Come here, Kuga. They call it a death threat, but it's flattering to be wanted. Aww. Thrilling, really, to discover I've got a new playmate. So let's play. You noticed me. <laughs> so if I noticed you. It's level 29 now. Yikes. And we're only level 17. <laughs> this could be the part where I bite off more than I can chew, but I've had a lot of experience with this game, so. Hopefully. I don't make it look too easy. Let's see. Oh, he lost a lot of his weaknesses. He used to have a lot more. Oh, that's not good. At least pulled one stealth. Poison weapon. No chance. He's probably gonna kill me. He's also a blood. He's poison proof and beast proof. Okay. Well, I like a good challenge. Straight filthy McCook says McVook. Sorry. Make Black Blade fight in the pit. <laughs> what just happened there? Uh, I have to have him like as one of my people to, to demand you fight, otherwise mm. it's a random chance. Okay. So! Recognize me. Nope. No. Good. I sent you a death threat, of course I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we haven't seen? Uh, your little, your little, uh, mode where you're cooking the sticks. I don't know how, what that, what oh, that mode Elven is. Rage mode? Yeah, Elven Rage, there you go. Is it, uh, something like this? There yeah! it is! Yeah! There's so many of me! Whoa! 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 Who
Never saw it coming. Yeah, so that's uh, that's something I can do. <laughs> something that I did. Like I said, Talion is Death Red Honored. Look, he's full of arrows. Talion is so stupidly powerful in this game. Yeah, if you if you uh, if you know when to use your uh, like that's something that you have to like every time you kill someone, you get a little bit of that blue bar on the right. Yep. And eventually, it does take a while. You'll fill the meter, and then you get that elven range, which is like unlimited shots and limited executions for like a short period of time. It looks really weird. You just keep clicking and they all die. Unless they're arrowproof, and then it gets really annoying. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's time. Oh, hi. Oh, shoot! I oh, killed your brother. brother! Just because your family is all dead doesn't mean you're gonna oh, go kill it all! I was gonna I'm swear. I'm sorry. Dang! Boys, I have no intel on him. I just know that he doesn't like a lot of things. He just shamed your family in the, in the process. Don't you talk about my bat mom and bat dad. Killed by a mugger outside the theater. I had to leave early. And it became bat. Oh, jeez. Gotta like how every name is chanted. I do like that a lot. Ah. Whoa! Ooh, who's that? There oh, you go! Oh! What was that? Who are you? Who the heck are you? Shao Kahn over here! Oh, crap. Just, excuse me, I'm just gonna, you know. Oh, he's too, he's too mad to be. Oh boy. Who is this newcomer? <laughs> it's like a wrestling match. Whoa. Oh, you just killed him! <laughs> what is happening right now? Norse with the Berserker just doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, take this. Uh, so, how do I know you again? <laughs> Hang on. Norsko. Immune to execution, immune to curse. Oh, I like how he's haunted. <laughs> he doesn't like seeing ghosts. Uh, oh, jeez, he's got everything. I'm... Oh, no, he's got chains. Nope. Nice try. Oh uh, boy. Whoa! Ooh, yikes. Yeah, that move is really, really, really bad. He has like this giant whirlwind attack. You got an execution? Uh, I can't use it on him. Oh, okay. But I can use fire! fire! A lot about a fire, Scarecrow! <laughs> Gun! Can't catch me. Rub two or four says you should dominate this one. We've been dominating pretty much everyone. I mean, he's just the bait. Me? So that guy was the bait? <laughs> oh my god! So a lot of uh, planning to this ambush. <laughs> Hello. Mine now. Of course, he's too high level because we're in a high level area. Let's shame you too. Pico says if that's a guy you should shame. <laughs> How dare you, coward! Attacking me from behind using your your friend. Yeah. As bait. And then you kill him. That's like that's cold blood. He wasn't even your blood brother. You just did it because he wanted to. What a jerk. Uh, do you want to go back and find the other guy? Yep. All right. Always. Black blood is my or black sword One, is my new black blade two, rather. Three, four, five. What am I missing? There's only five areas. Did you get is that one all the way on the left? No, you can't go over here. Yeah. So I mean I see it though. Oh. Can you push commanders off buildings? Yes you can. I, I, I that's how that's how Black Blade got his revenge story. <laughs> yeah. I threw him off a cliff and somehow he came back. And then I shamed him, and then he forgot what color his blade was. The legend of Black Blade will be passed down through <laughs> generations. And like this is like, yeah, like what you said, like sometimes the stories you create are better than the actual main story. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, in my opinion, the story of what's going on with Talion Celebrimbor is so much less interesting than the organic stories created by interacting with the, the Nemesis Level system. 11. Can you go even lower than this? And yes, I talk with my hands a lot. I apologize. <laughs> this is just how I do things. I always wait. But yeah, like the you can't make up a story like this, where this this guy obsessed with the blade tries to kill you. You throw him off a cliff. He comes back, 
Still talks about his black blade. You shame him. He goes crazy. He forgets what color his blades be. He knows he's to kill you still. <laughs> and you shame him again, but he hasn't forgotten. Uh, he has a blade of some color, and you need to die. It's over here, wasn't it? There's a lot of people in the chat saying, shame Black Blade. We're right. doing it. It's happening. I would love if he just came with like a rainbow blade. It's all the colors! <laughs> it's every color. I also like how... Uh, uh, serious question. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, Ni Nightmare Pretty wants to know how many times can you shame one orc? That is a very good question. Let's find out. Uh, Eventually, we give him like you know, either like a brain aneurysm or a heart attack or something. I think so. I think what happens is if you shame them too much, uh, someone comes to attack them and like assassinates them. Really? I think so. Huh. Because they're weak. Somewhere in here. Be up the top. Uh, didn't I push you off this ledge? Are you really coming back to where it all started? I wish we had to get up this place. Don't mind me. I get out of here. One time I'm not like jumping at the speed of light. There he is. Oh, Hoglick. Christmas has come early. Look who it is. <laughs> what color is it? Uh, someone says, how from Israel. I assume that's hi from Israel. Shalom. Hi. Where do you go? There's Oh, we didn't even do. I don't ah! remember. If we, oh man, that cursed blade. Uh, I don't even know if we talked about the the glaive move that you can do. Yeah, I don't use it too often, but it's good when like when they're blocking your direct, yeah. direct attack. He has so many moves. Ah! Oh man, he's still tough. He's Stop still a tough dodging. boy. Where'd you go? There he is. Oh. He adapted. God, he is truly our rival. You don't get out here. It's a yellow blade. Fool! This is the gift that keeps on giving. I don't know why we're still having fun here. You got him, you got him, you got him. Alright, here we go. Who wants to shame me? Shame him right in the face. Level six. <laughs> Yikes. What a poor tragic man. But yeah, there's also Come. a chance that they become like a maniac and they like gain levels. Yeah, that would be great if that happened. Uh, Combo Master Six says only because of Black Blade, this is the single best stream ever. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a rant. we didn't come in with the intention of like, hey, let's stream uh, nope. Mordor or Shadow of War and have a kill a guy with a Black Blade. We he just showed up as an ambush in one mission we took, yep. and now he's our favorite character. Uh, Snatcher wants us to show the microtransactions. We already did that. Quickly, uh, from the market, they are not really worth buying money for because I got 500 coins for taking a keep, and I can also just use in game money to buy them. They just give you orcs or gear, and as you can see, there are plenty of orcs and gear already available. Yep, oh, Hoglick, we're back. Is that him? Someone else, someone else. Let's see. Uh, what's the game's music like? Um, it's kind of... As you'd expect? In the uh, background. Yeah. Uh, it's not super impressive. Oh, uh, he's, a uh, clumsy, flammable, from the stealth, beast fodder. He still has his curse master for being epic. So yeah, if we, if we shame him one more time, he'll be a level one. I think there's a level 21 that's really mad. Just... Hey, look out, Hoglek! Ba-boom! Oops, sorry. That didn't hurt him that much! My bad. My bad. Yeah. 
All right, now he's repeating. <laughs> yeah, I think we've uh, we might have exhausted all all blade talk from yeah. Black Blade. Oh, <laughs> like he just he ran, ran to the fire. Oh, oh no, he's gonna die from the fire. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh, you're gonna die. Uh. Don't Hug die from the fire. Out. No. Hug like no. Okay, good. He extinguished. <laughs> I like how he's like five seconds to dominate him now. Like literally, it's that fast. You're beneath <laughs> Level one! <laughs> and now we make him overlord for our entire yeah. <laughs> Been looking for me. Nope. Not really. I haven't. Is, is your name Hawk the Black Blade? No? Don't even know who you are. Couldn't care less. Oh, he's my like poison. What are the odds? Are there specific armor sets? Yes, there are. Yeah, uh, uh, legendary sets, basically. So there are some that you get from collectibles or doing all the missions. The other ones you get by defeating legendary captains or overlords of a certain tribe. So there's like there's a basically a set for each tribe. There's like the dark set for killing the dark guys. There's a pharaoh one for killing pharaoh guys, and then you can then upgrade those sets by dominating high level uh, orcs of that tribe. So if I get level 21. I can upgrade it again by oh man, it's dominating a level forty orc from that tribe here. Time for you to go. See ya. Bye bye. I love throwing kills. <laughs> I can tell. Failing death. All he is like the Wilhelm scream. That's about it. <laughs> we're, we're set. Wow. So, is there anything else people want us to look at? Now it's your time, as you have about 15 yeah, minutes. it is up. Uh, do you think the microtransactions were altered after the backlash? I don't, I don't think so. No, I... Uh, I mean, it depends when the backlash first happened, but, mm -hmm. like, we got this game a little bit early, um, and there was no change to it. I think it was always a decision by probably Warner Brothers to go, like, hey, we need transactions, and then yeah. they saw something like that just be like, okay, let's not be intrusive. Uh, but like, you know, something if you really have money to spend, you don't want to wait to get orcs. If orcs are too much time for you. Ooh, Kante Kage wants to know, can we meet Bruise? He's now mortally vulnerable to stealth. Bruise is my favorite character in this game. Should I just, should I just kill him? Uh, I would see, see if you can shame him one more time. Just to see what happens if you shame him past level one. I think it's like like a Pokemon's gonna die. <laughs> okay, I just can't. Um, yeah, you're right. He's, he's just Hoglick now. That's true. He lost his black blade. Nope. <laughs> See, yeah, he he totally lost his uh. Oops. Blade. I I feel bad. I created this monster. It's not no, no, blue blade, no, no. He just like runs away the first time of trouble now. Uh, so here's some serious questions everyone wants, seems to want to hear. What is different from the other game? What does shaming really do? So what shaming does is if an enemy is too powerful... Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll, let's just see what happens here. Yeah, I think he's, okay. he's at the lowest level. Nothing happens. Okay. Just wanted to see. So that's the lowest you can shame him. Uh, but yeah, so what shaming actually does is if you're you're fighting someone who is too high of a level for you to dominate them and bring them onto your side, uh, you basically can shame them to bring their level down by five so that when you encounter them next time, you can uh, you can add them to your party. The, the, the caveat is that with an MSA system, things can happen when you shame someone. Either they do a they lower level, uh, they could become deranged, where they rapidly lower in level and yep. like get new weaknesses. They can uh, become unashamed, like uh, that one guy we had who died, uh, where they reject the shaming and they get stronger for it. They can become like you know uh, maniacs, where they're both insane and very very powerful. They can come back as legendary or epic. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can happen with it. But yeah, like the, you only, usually only want to do it when. You want to capture someone on a high enough level, but it's too far off. You just like go back and like level up once. Um, 
What were the other questions? Uh, what's changed? Yeah, what's changed? Basically, like the breath. Like there wasn't, there was the Nemesis system, uh, but it wasn't like as fleshed out with all these different interactions. There was, there was some. Uh, there are also advanced classes like uh, a defender with a shield and spear can become a tank. He can become a commander. He can become a destroyer. And each of those advanced classes give them new moves that uh, put them apart from other classes. Mm -hmm. Like they can, like uh, you know, inspire rage in allies. They can not give you the chance to have a last stand. Um, their tribes, everyone belongs to, also gives them another unique ability. Um, and I think it also changes what you see in the area. I was like, kind of having fun with this yesterday uh, when I was switching out overlords. So currently, our warmonger guy is the overlord, so it's a warmonger castle. But let's say we decide to command Shaka. Chakra to take over. Chakra becomes overlord, this now becomes a feral stronghold. And one thing that happens is that and now it looks very different. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing happens, and let's see if I can go over there and check really quickly, uh, is that you'll see that the keep itself, like not just cosmetically, but strategically, some things have changed. That's just where I wanted to go, was it? Was it? No. I want to go up here. Uh, there are like certain installations there that are a hallmark of that tribe that don't appear elsewhere. No. Like this, for instance. Never we have a purpose yeah. here. Do not lose yourself in the battles. Right right over here. One. This is a Drake bait. Uh, I think it's like a dead Drake that they've strung up. This only appears in a feral fortress, mm, and you I can didn't use that. it to uh, summon more Drakes. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if I changed it to a dark tribe, there would be an alchemy table with an explosive vat of poison that you can explode to have like bale fire. Yeah. And if you have a mercenary or the Marauder tribe, they actually have like chests of loot that you can get and you just take money from. It's like a tribute. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that's really changed. The fortress in general, like, is something that Mordor didn't have. You just had like an area where, where a war chief resided, but not really like a fort. And that's when like the defenses and sieges came on. Uh, also, let's see if we have time to do a quick. Uh, one thing that I, I would like to oh, do, uh, we have we have Hoglick. We've we've shamed him to the to the base level mm -hmm. as far as we can. Yeah. Chat, I want you to know to end this stream. What should the ultimate fate of Hoglick, the Black Blade, be? All right. Should Chad. we should we send him to the the pits? We can't can we can't do that, right? We can dominate him and then send him to the pits. We can do that. Okay, so we can send him to the pits. We can promote him to an Overlord or or a War Chief. Mm -hmm. Uh, we could, uh, make him our bodyguard. Or just kill him. Or we just explode his head. Uh, so... I'm gonna do an online vendetta. So when someone dies in, in any game, uh, their killer gets put online. And you have the chance to avenge Noom, just a player, mm -hmm. by killing him in his world. And you get spoils of war points. So let's do that. Oh, it's He's a machine. It's a machine. Uh, how often are decapitations? I've not seen one yet. That's funny, because you were trying to get one, right? <laughs> so we wanted to get B-roll of a decapitation for the review, and I was playing the game, so our reviewer Dan's like, hey, could you go uh, decapitate someone? So I'm like, I don't have any footage of it, so I was like, sure. So I went, and I found a dude, and I'm like, okay, i kill you. So I go, and of course he's like, I mean to execution. So I'm like, great, I can't decapitate him. But wait, he's terrified of, like, fire. All right, so I'll do this. So I tried to do that, and I managed to uh, lower his execution, and then I got him down to the point where he kneels. And it's like at that point, it's like, okay, he says some words and I get to kill him. Nope, he has death defying. He got back up at full health and was like, nope, you gotta fight me all over again. <laughs> so I'm like, great. So I try and do that. Only this time he manages to get me down on my knees. So I'm like, okay, great. I have a last chance attempt. Nope, he decides to humiliate me. And he stands around laughing at me and then walks off the scene and disappears. And I don't know what happened to him. So now I'm really mad. I went to go find another war chief before I can do that. Someone's like, hey, I turn around, it's one of my captains that I had recently dominated. He's like, you got made fun of. I'm turning sides now. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> so he betrays me because I got humiliated me. So then I try and do a, uh, I'm like, fine, I'm going to decapitate you instead. So I get over, but this time I go for the uh, final kill when he gets on his knees, but I mistime the, the last button. So he dodges it and runs away. So I've now not ex executed two people 
and they both made a fool out of me. Yikes. I go to three other people every time I just stab them in the face. I'm like, no, I want a decapitation. So it's all random, and then you can have a chance where anything can happen. Which makes things funny and yet frustrating at the same time. Uh, Mitch, is the game running at 60 FPS on PC? Uh, if you have a strong, a powerful enough PC, absolutely. It, it does will. require about 100 gigabytes if you want yeah. to install the like the, the HD cutscenes and stuff. Mortally flammable. All right, I, I see a lot of people wanting us to send uh, Oops. Hoglick into oh, the, the pit. So let's see if we can kill this guy real quick. Oh, he's mortally flammable and he's now on fire. Oh, jeez, so. it's not going to take very long. Dead. There you go, hey! <laughs> and what was that guy's name? Noom? Loom? Uh, the guy who died to him. Was you died to that? <laughs> so I got a Vendetta loot chest there for you killing go. him. And I got Spoils of War. If I get all the way to 100,000, I get another chest. So, yeah, you can get chests just by... This is a yellow chest, so this is something you normally have to pay money for. Yep. Or at least gold. Okay, so what is, right. what, what's... They, he, he's going into the pits. He's going into the pits. All right. Shouldn't be hard to find him and dominate him. <laughs> just like, imagine he fights like a level 40 guy and he somehow wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's figure out where he is. Take a few minutes to lock down. Yeah, so if oh, it seems like uh, it's it's not running super smooth. An enemy captain is currently will. executing Hoglick. Oh no, we gotta save him! <laughs> we gotta save Hoglick! Alright. Uh, where is he? We got about four or five minutes. I hope I can make it. Where am I right now? Do you got a Karagor to ride? No, where am oh. I? Can I get here? Speed boosts. All right, you, you can get there in time. Sure hope so. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. I have I have a lifelong friend to save, <laughs> and then brutally murder. I won't do it. Let's make sure someone else does it. But on my terms. <laughs> no one gets to execute my hog leg. Ooh, spiders. How many don't exist? Uh, let's see. Wait, this game came out today? Yes, it did. You should go play it. That's really cool. I like it a lot. Are there any actual Lord of the Ring characters other than Gollum? Yes. Uh, you, you may or may yeah. not be mad about that. Mm. I'll, I'll say that right now. Yeah, we shouldn't. I guess we shouldn't spoil it, but it's been pretty heavily promoted <laughs> in the marketing. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Uh, uh, how am I? How did I even get here? Oh no, Hoglick. Maybe it's a green blade. Maybe it's a green blade. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly know who to begin with. But I know just who to finish well, with. His name was Prac Man Ketchup, but she caught a bunch of orcs. Oh, he's already broken. Oh man. Should be easy then. <laughs> ledge, uh, ledge dominate? Can I, do that? I don't know if you can't do uh, that. Okay. Alright, forget it. Hi. All right, hey, that was quick. We're getting out of here. <laughs> I'm pulling you out. <laughs> sure. All right, now send him to the pits. All right. I got. Uh. Excuse me. They uh, chasing me. Okay. Here. So for those that are just tuning in, uh, we're <laughs> actually going to be wrapping up real quick the series arc of what has happened in this stream. The saga of Hoglick the Black Blade. We we threw this orc off a, off a ledge. He came back to to get his revenge. We shamed him until he was deranged, and then we shamed him some more until he was a level one. And now we're going to take him and have him fight to the death. In the pits. He's gonna fight Gash the Wicker, Wicked, a level 21 Dark Beastmaster. Also, he was Hoglick the Black Blade, who was very proud of his Black yeah. Blade. Unfortunately, he's immune to curse, so this could go very, very badly. Uh, but let's let's see how it goes. And now that he's deranged, he doesn't actually know what color his blade actually is. <laughs> now he's just Hoglick. Oh god. I can't watch. Oh god, it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> 
this like I am? <laughs> yellow blaze, yellow blaze, yellow blaze. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> mobbed by a Karagor, a fate truly worthy of Hoglick the Black Blade. Rest in peace, Hoglick. We oh. knew you well. Rest in peace. All right. Well, uh, I think we're gonna wrap that up here. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been IGN Plays Live Shadow of War. I'm Mitchell Saltzman. This is Brendan Graber, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. See you guys. Bye bye.